Hey, guys. So I just would like to tell you um, the latest story of my um, purchase from one of the Chinese websites. So I'm very snobby <laughs> when it comes to coffee, shoes, boots and coats. I don't normally buy anything cheap. Not that it's cheap, not of good quality and from a, let's just say, reputable website. But last couple of weeks ago, I was scrolling through Facebook and that Chinese site came up and I did buy a coat. It was a beautiful green coat. I'll add the pictures after the video. So nice. So... I thought, you know what, I'm going to chance it. So it was £45, £44, and I also bought a jumper. Um, so it came up to about £74, not really that cheap. Anyway, fast forward, the parcel arrived. <laughs> um, the parcel arrived, and I'm very excited. So I'm opening the parcel. First came I the jumper, which is was and is lovely and I really do like it and I really don't yeah pretty pleased about it and then came out the coat <laughs> I don't even know if it can be described as a coat um it was just a piece of cheap something sewn together I don't even think I would use that to cover up my dog's bed um I'll attach the picture <laughs> So anyway, and I thought, do you know what, um, instead of being disappointed, lesson learned, I'll probably never buy anything again from um, one of those cheapy websites. Um, and I emailed them back. Well, I emailed them um, asking for a full refund because the policy is I had to pay for the postage to China, which obviously, pff, no chance. So they responded to me saying um, that they were very sorry um, that I was, wasn't satisfied and they offered me 30% refund. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, no, absolutely um, just not going to work like that. So and then uh, because I paid through PayPal, I raised a dispute through PayPal and I messaged the company. Basically, just said to them that the dispute is open. Um, I don't have time to argue and send any emails back and forth um, to you. So I'm just going to wait for the PayPal to get in touch with you and reimburse me for the purchase. Um, and then they sent me another email saying that now they offered me 50% refund <laughs> of the item that was actually not even remotely resembling what I was buying and I'm like no one talking to you <laughs> waiting for my refund from PayPal and last night I went to bed <sighs> thinking that you know what I'm not going to waste my time thinking about that quote um it was a good lesson it's a 44 pound lesson of not buying cheap stuff so continuing. So anyway, so uh, they've sent me a few more emails and it was like a back and forth thing where I would just write one liners and then they would be like, oh, we're offering you 50% off now, 50% refund. Um, and then last night I was going to bed and I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to think about that company in a more positive way. So I just thought that... Um, They're a nice company, they love their clients, and they're always um, responding in a positive way to all the queries. And the, they have really nice people working in there, and basically just, I was just thinking in a little bit more positive light about them. Um, 
and I was thinking that uh, they will send me a message saying that um, we're very sorry and we're happy to refund you the full cost. And I went to bed. So I woke up to an email from the company telling me that they were very sorry um, and they were happy to refund me 44 pounds and 45p to my PayPal account and I don't need to send the item back. So here goes the moral of the story. Always think positive about all the negative situations. Imagine that people who potentially don't like you, imagine that they all love you and they only want the best for you. I know that sometimes it's really hard to imagine and um, sometimes it's really hard to imagine, but send them all love and just rewrite it in your brain in a positive way. And maybe, just maybe, something positive will come out of it. Okay? Hopefully you'll en you've enjoyed this short um, story. Have a good day and bye!